Picea abies, the Norway spruce, is the most widespread spruce in Europe from Scandinavia down through the Caucasus, and it's also very commercially important there. It's been planted here in the United States as an ornamental. Let's take a look and review the features of spruces and the Norway in particular. Spruces have their needles born singly, and the needles are rather sharp pointed, which makes the tree somewhat painful to the touch. This is one reason people don't use spruces as Christmas trees. The, the needles are four angled, so if you pull one off and roll it between your fingers, you can actually feel the edges on the needle. It's not flat, it can roll, but you can feel those actual edges. Spruces are distinguished by having the needles held on these short woody pegs, and you can see those really, really well on the twigs where the needles have fallen off. The Norway spruce, Picea abies, has characteristically droopy branches. Some uh, cultivars are even bred to have extra droopy branches but they always have these branchlets hanging down below the main branches that are like curtains. The cones of spruces have cone scales that are rather flexible and uh, leathery. And in Norway spruce, the cone is quite large and cylindrical, usually six, maybe up even up to seven inches. And if you look at the cone scales, you can see that they're very smoothly rounded this will help you distinguish this from some other species of spruce. Those droopy branchlets and the large cones often clustered near the top of the tree give Norway spruce a distinctive appearance even from far away.